Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate your love and support. Gemini, today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Then there will be an extended reading on my Patreon page. Link is in the description box below. Alright Gemini, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Gemini today. Gemini, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be how, uh, could either be your person's energy or your energy. Okay, your person whom you're thinking about or dealing with. We've got the Ten of Swords here, so it looks like you and your person are in separation currently. We've got the Page of Wands, so it does look like somebody could be thinking about extending an olive branch, and offer the Ace of Pentacles here. But this could also indicate Gemini for some of you could just mean somebody new is coming into your life. Okay? Okay. Uh, could be a an Aries Sagittarius Leo. That's what I'm seeing here. Some of you, this is somebody new. After the separation between you and somebody, looks like there is a new love opportunity here. But this could also indicate someone from your past returning, sending you a message here, offering you commitment. But the Page of Pentacles is in reverse, so it looks like somebody may be. Um, hmm may not trust this offer okay because page of pentacles and lovers could indicate somebody's offer being not genuine or someone's just suspecting that their offer is not genuine with the page of swords here but there's definitely there is a forward movement here with the knight of wands the way i'm looking at it with the page and the knight both are actually looking at each other facing each other right in front of the ace of pentacles here i would say feelings could be mutual if this is somebody new i feel like feelings between two of you are mutual okay in regards of wanting to have a stable connection stable relationship both of you may be just like agreeing to starting a new relationship if this is a new person if this is a past person it looks like someone is returning uh planning on returning with a page of swords here um, could be spying on you or again could go vice versa well, but it could also mean somebody does not trust somebody here right on somebody's intention whether it's true or not maybe because they have been betrayed in the past with the ten of swords here let's see more Yeah, so Six of Pentacles is some of first. Someone may not have been treated equally, or it could be a love connection where one person may have invested more than the other. We've also got the Hangman in reverse. I feel like this could indicate either someone deciding to, to sacrifice something or someone, but this could also indicate someone seeing things in a different perspective. But the Ace of Swords is in reverse, so either both of you are not speaking to each other right now, or somebody is not speaking their truth, okay? Four of Wands is in reverse, indicates again a separation, or that both of your connection was not stable, okay? Yep, yeah, definitely not a stable connection, because one person is giving to the other person more than the other one, okay? Three of Pentacles is in reverse, not working as a team or not seeing eye to eye, not meeting in the middle, but sometimes this could also indicate a third party, other people involved in this connection. Maybe if that's the case, this was why it could have ended, because Ten of Swords could also indicate a betrayal. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here, could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Okay. Definitely there's an energy of somebody feeling like this is a missed opportunity. This person is a missed opportunity, right? So they may be trying to move towards you, Six of Swords here, or you moving towards them, wanting to make peace or wanting to reconcile. But I'm also seeing one person completely moving on or trying to move on from this connection. Someone also may be acting like they've already moved on, but they actually haven't yet, all right? And with the Queen of Pentacles here, hmm, I feel like this could be somebody wanting to offer you commitment or loyalty, but this could also mean someone watching you, feeling that. 
because I'm saying watching because I keep looking at the page of swords here as well. So spying and watching you perhaps doing really well, stabilizing everything, perhaps, you know, getting your stuff together or having a stable job or just being stable in general, okay? To me, the Queen of Pentacles is also very abundant. And also, however, in reverse, I just feel like someone may have broken their promises or both of you may have differences or different different background or different ethnicity or different religious or spiritual belief. Hmm. Ten of Wands is in reverse, so definitely indicate someone feeling it is too way too exhausting to deal with this connection that they may be planning to give up or some of you have already given up on this connection again roles can be reversed could be dealing with a leo here indicates somebody having an ego perhaps or just somebody being really strong or holding back okay somebody may be holding back from reconciling with the three of pentacles here in reverse hmm. But uh, Gemini, we will clarify later, okay? We clarify the strength card here. I'm actually very interested to find out the, the strength and the Queen of Pentacles. We're going to clarify these two cards. And also, I want to clarify the Page of Swords to see, you know, what's this spying all about. <laughs> and why is this person holding back if this person is holding back? If they're spying on you, why are they spying on you? And if they're holding back, why are they, why, why are they holding back? And the Queen of Pentacles, I'm curious to find out if this is actually them wanting to offer you commitment here, okay? Or wanting to be committed to you, but could be holding back. I'm going to find out why is this Queen of Pentacles here as well, okay? Death in reverse definitely indicates somebody wanting to revive this connection. And we're going to clarify the death in reverse as well. Why is it in reverse? All right. Um, hmm. Okay, Gemini, this is your reading. If you resonated, please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested to dive deeper into this reading, we're also going to find out what's the most likely outcome between you and your person, okay, on the extended reading. Perhaps if we have more time, I'll get some advice for you guys as well. And if you're interested, again, link is in the description box below. You can just click on it and it'll take you straight to my Patreon page. And on my Patreon page, uh, you can choose either gold membership or platinum for this reading. It's good for both, all right? And if I don't, if I don't see you at the extended, I hope to see you uh, back here on my YouTube channel. All right, take care, Gemini. Bye.